Welcome to Lane Credit University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm going to share what super liens are. You might have heard this term before. Simply put, and this is not financial advice. I'm not your CPA. I'm not your attorney. I'm just sharing my ideology, my opinions, and perspectives. I was a HUD certified counselor for a nonprofit 501c3 NACA. And I just want to share a thing or two with you all and what you guys might not be aware of. Pay your taxes, people. Yes, sometimes you might not want to pay your taxes, or you might not know how to pay your taxes, or you might just have some issues. Very important pay your taxes or get some type of payment plan because what happens if you owe money to the IRS, the government, or even your state municipality, like say your state, uh, say you owe state business taxes or state taxes, especially IRS taxes, the government oftentimes can actually put something called a super lien on you. And that could be shown on your credit course possibly, that could be shown through some type of database that the bank is utilizing, and that, that can cause you to be denied for home loans especially, even possibly car loans, but especially if they start seeing that uh, out of your payment accounts, they see garnishments from the state or from the county. Not good luck, people. If you're trying to build your credit, yes, build your credit, but also pay your taxes so that you don't get any type of super lien. Because the way a super lien typically uh, is works, and a super lien, the reason why it's called super lien, and again, this is not advice, I'm not your attorney, but just share my ideology. Do your own due diligence. This is not advice. But the reason it's a super lien because it takes first holder, meaning for even if you have a car, uh, even if you have a car loan, for example, especially a mortgage loan. And the bank typically is usually the first. So, for example, they're they, they're first in line to get paid money if something would happen, and that's usually how a bank wants to sit. Because that, which makes sense. If they loan money to you, they want to be paid back that money, so they want to be the first lien, pretty much. But super lien takes priority over them. So why would they want to extend a loan to you if the if if they're not going to be paid first if something happens? That means they won't get paid, and the government gets paid first before them. So typically they'll usually just deny you or end that or so very, very important, pay your taxes. If you try to get a house, try and build real estate, try and build your net worth in general, start taking care of your taxes and clean yourself on a payment plan so at least you're not getting some type of super lien or something where the banks look frowned upon. This this happens, this can definitely bring down the likelihood of you being approved for home loans, even car loans, or even other business loans or transactions if you loan. Plus, you can't lie. A lot of times banks will ask you, do you have any debts, do you owe taxes? And you say no and they find out that could ruin your loan for you. That could also can also be identified as fraud. So just take care of your taxes. And if you're already in a bad situation, try to get a payment plan so at least it shows effort that you're trying to get rid of it and take care of your debt. Love you guys. Welcome to Lane Credit University. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and out. Peace.